Gabriel, I'm a tasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Here are today's rules. You must use the food given. You can only add to the food. You can buy whatever ingredients you wish. Ooh, this is a new rule. You must wear a Halloween costume. This new rule is very exciting. Okay, let's see what's inside. Candy corn. Candy corn is my least favorite Halloween candy. It's kind of waxy. I wasn't sure if it's edible when I saw this first time. I didn't know this was food. Even it's three colors, it's one tone flavor. It's not too bad as I remember. Kind of has a hint of honey. I have some idea for my costume. I have a great idea for candy corn and I'm excited to make it fancy. Here's what I got. But first, this is my costume. A lot of people commented and told me that I look like the girl Colette from the movie Ratatouille. So I dress up like her. Now for the ingredients. I got almond flour, butter, and eggs. From the pantry, I got granulated sugar, powdered sugar, turmeric, and gel food color. Okay, let's get started. Make it fancy, Halloween edition. I'm going to separate three eggs. If you're separating egg and by accident, if you get trace of egg yolk, don't use that because that contains oil. So it's very difficult to whip the egg whites. Egg whites has to be room temperature. If it's too cold, put it in a bowl and put the bowl on top of the hot water and set aside. And I'm going to use egg yolk later, so I'm also going to set this aside. Next step, I'm going to measure one cup of almond flour and one and three fourths cup powdered sugar and put it in a food processor. Sometimes stubble almond flour is a little bit too coarse, so I'm going to make it a little bit finer. You don't want to process just by almond flour because almond flour has a lot of oil, so you want to combine powdered sugar and almond flour so it doesn't become too oily. Well, next step, I'm going to whip egg whites and sugar together, and I will need a quarter cup sugar. Whisk this until it's kind of flossy. Add sugar, one third at a time. Adding sugar gradually, egg whites should look very glossy, and it has to have that hard peak. So next, I'm going to shift powdered sugar and almond flour mixture. Ray, what was the first time you saw that too? As soon as it came out, I think at that time I also had a this bob haircut. I also like making ratatouille, watching ratatouille, being ratatouille. Have you seen our fancy ratatouille? Yes. It's not fancy, it's creepy. <laughs> now I'm going to mix this until it is not powdery. Divide this into two. A teaspoon of turmeric, two drops of yellow gel food color. You are going to push this against the wall, eliminating the bubbles you created. It's almost look like mustard. And when you are bringing up, and if it's continuously dropping, that it's the sign of it's done. Transfer this in a piping bag. Very important, once you start mixing, you have to move very quickly because while you're waiting, the batter become runny again. It's very critical. You have to make sure the right texture. And then you're gonna tap so the bubbles disappear. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to move on the white color. Same thing, mix, push against the wall and mix. If you're first timer, like I recommend to count how many times you're mixing. You kind of mix about 35 or 40 times. Rookie mistake is over mixing. Shout out for the rookies. I hope you guys make it after watching this episode. I think macaron is one of the most difficult cookie, but you just need practice. We are going to wait for 30 minutes to one hour until the surface is completely dried. So next step, I'm going to use the egg yolk and I'm going to whisk it until it becomes a little bit pale color. Set this aside and candy corn. One cup of candy corn and a quarter cup of water. Bring it to a boil and keep it going until the temperature reaches 230 Fahrenheit. 
So candy corn is completely melted and it's bubbling. It's perfect for Halloween. It looks like witchcraft right now. I'm going to check. It's reached 230 and it starts smelling good, just like vanilla and sugar. Add this little by little. Basically what I'm doing is pouring hot candy corn mixture into egg yolk so it can kill the bacteria in the egg yolk. It's like mild, right? What else? Like melted ice cream. Well, moving on to the next step, I got three sticks of butter, softened in room temperature, cut into the cube so it's easier to mix. This classic French technique called the pâte de bon. Usually you mix with egg yolk and boil the sugar, but instead of doing that, I melted candy corn this time. This is a little bit less orange than I want, so I'm going to add food color. <laughs> it looks like blood. And you don't want to add too much because you don't want to make it too runny. So I think this looks good. And I'm going to cover and put it in the refrigerator until I use it next time. These are well rested and the surface is completely dry now. And it's very cute. You have to make sure the surface is completely dry so you can touch and nothing comes out from the finger. If it's still wet, just dry another like 15 or 30 minutes more, but don't let it dry more than 90 minutes. So my oven is already preheated. I'm going to bake this for 300 Fahrenheit for seven minutes first, and then reduce the heat to 285 and continue to bake for 10 minutes. All right, looks so cute. Has little feet and it's round and perfectly baked. And I already cooled this for 10 minutes after I take out from the oven. An indicator of if the macaron is baked or not is when it's peeled off super cleanly like this. This is done. I like using silpat because it is easier to remove. But if you don't have it, you can totally use baking paper. So I'm trying to match yellow one and white one it's the same size. If you never made it before, you can print out the same circle and pipe on top of it. I matched all my cookies. Now I'm going to get my candy corn buttercream. So here's my buttercream. It's a little bit cold, so butter is a little bit hardened. I'm gonna just mix it so it will be nice and soft. Put them in a piping bag. When I'm piping buttercream, I'm kind of eyeballing, but I feel like this is probably one tablespoon. I'm so happy this is like super orange now. I'm gonna top with the white shell. Just gently squish down, bring it up and like twist like this. And we are done. My candy corn macaron. Okay, it's time for Halloween trick or treaters. A ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turtle. I'm not a turtle. I'm obviously a pineapple. Here you go. Thank you. I'm taking a small bite this time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm. They're really good though. This looks like it could be like in a bake shop. Like a hall. I, I would definitely go out and buy these. Yes. To have at my Halloween party. So Katie. Yes. Did I make? Candy corn fancy. Absolutely. Make, Make it fancy. fancy. I have my friend and a partner in crime for Halloween, Linguini. Please have a bite and tell me what I made fancy. <laughs> How does it taste? Very, very sweet, but it's good sweet. I think I know what it is, okay. and I'm one of the few people that is a fan of this candy. Okay. It's candy corn. Yes. Is it? So Brandon. Did I make candy corn fancy? Super good. So fancy. Yay! Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. Happy <laughs> Halloween, Rie! <laughs> I'm a grape. You look a grape. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? These is are below the balloons. This took way too long to put Please, on. So you have to blow each one up. I didn't even get to the ones in the back, because you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> It's almost scary. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of a human grape is quite terrifying. <laughs> Welcome back to Make It Fancy. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Yes. They're just so delightful. It's very sure how a grape is eating macaron. <laughs> this is Halloween in a nutshell. Is know? it grape? This is grape. <laughs> Your grape. Did I make this candy corn fancy? 
you absolutely made this fancy. Three, two, one. Thank you, Hanhi. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you make candy corn macaron at home. If you do, please tag me on the Instagram and don't forget to dance, make it fancy, and happy Halloween.